Wow, a master scrum, I want one. So we're heading through numerous tunnels to a region that was pretty much cut off from the rest of the world until the 1950s. Shiragawago, I think I pronounced that correctly. <laughs> One of Japan's UNESCO World Heritage Sites. This is set in a beautiful valley surrounded by mountains. And it's here where these gasso style houses with the very steeply pitched roofs it's famous for its silkworm harvesting, though they don't do it these days. But, uh, but we're more interested, funny enough, as, as we arrive in uh, adopting the Japanese peace pose, posing for photos. And then, of course, there's me snapping away at the tourists as well. I love capturing those expressions. And have I mentioned the rain yet? Have I mentioned the rain? Yeah, it's starting to rain again. Ugh. Of course, moaning about the weather is a British disease, let's face it, it's what we do. We're an island nation and we get all sorts of weather. Uh, and we're so we used to rain, obviously. Here we are on yet another lovely sunny day in, um, can't remember the name of this place actually. It begins with a K, can't pronounce it anyway, so. Uh, no, it's not Kan Kanazawa, that's where we're gonna be tonight apparently. Oh, going the wrong way. This way. is stunningly beautiful and the autumn colours now are coming through a bit here. During winter it snows really heavily in this region, hence why the roofs are so steeply pitched. having a great time shooting, well since they're shooting people, photographing people, their expressions as they photograph themselves and taking selfies etc. I just love it. Some of these houses have three or four stories and in the upper stories is where they keep all the equipment for silt making and also where they harvest the silkworms who munch their way through humpty mulberry leaves I gather. It's interesting to see how they're built these houses. Look at the roof structures here and how they're all tied together with rope. I don't think they use any nails, it's all just beautifully structurally sound and strong. Just great building technique.
well, that's it. What a beautiful village and a beautiful, stunning location. Love to be here later in the autumn when the colours were full and also to be here for a couple of weeks in the winter with snow around. Wow, just imagine the images that we get. Well, anyway, we're heading off to nearby Gokuyama for rice paper making. Yep, after that is passing through Humpty Tunnels in the process. Then it's on to Kanazawa for this evening. Thanks.